Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at the iOS multitasking bar. So I get the feeling a lot of iPhone and iPad users don't really know or use the multitasking bar. But it's a very important tool. You can use it to switch between apps, quit apps, control playback, use cool new features like AirPlay mirroring and also do some other things. So let's go take a closer look at what the multitasking bar looks like in iOS 5. So to get to the multitasking bar you want to double tap the home button. That's the physical button at the bottom of your iPhone. Double tap that and it pops up at the bottom there pushing the rest of your screen upwards. Now you've got here a list of your most recently run apps. I can scroll right to left like that to continue down the list and left to right to go back. Now keep in mind these are not apps that are necessarily running. Matter of fact it's possible to have quit an app and it still be listed here. These are just your most recently accessed apps. So you can use it to easily switch from one app to another. Now you can use this to quit an app. The way you do that is you would tap and hold over an app. So let's do that here for Safari. I'll just tap and hold and you see they all start to jiggle. I can still go back and forth and if I tap on the red button at the top it will quit the app and remove it from the recents list. Now I can tap on the rest of the screen to exit this. I go back into it and I can continue to basically quit apps if I want. Clicking the home button just once will go back to normal mode. Now if I scroll left to right one more time I go to playback controls and here I'll see the icon for the most recently used or the currently used uh, audio app. So you can see there it's my music app. It could be something else. It could be audible. could be videos. could be all sorts of other things. And I've got some playback controls. I've got the name of the currently playing song or item at the bottom. And on the left I have something different not related to audio playback I've got orientation lock and I can lock to my current orientation which can come in handy. If I go left to right again I get to a volume control on the iPhone and the AirPlay control. The AirPlay control this is the mirroring AirPlay control. So you'll find an AirPlay control say in the music app that will send audio to an AirPlay device like an Airport Express or Apple TV. But here in the multitasking bar it's for mirroring the entire screen. This only works in the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2. So here I've got several devices. Two are only audio, iPhone and the Airport Express. But I have my Apple TV and if I turned that on it would mirror the screen of the, this iPhone to the Apple TV. Now on the iPad it works pretty much the same way. Double tap the home button and it brings up the multitasking bar. You can fit six icons here and you can still scroll left and right like that. Now on the iPad you can also do this in horizontal orientation. So you can see there you can fit even more. Still scroll left and right. Go back to vertical. Uh, you still can tap and hold and quit. You can go to the left and instead of two different screens for controls you have everything on one. So you can see the app you're currently running, volume control, um, you've got your AirPlay control here as before. You've got playback controls. You have a brightness control on the iPad. And you also have the orientation lock. But the difference is that on the iPad if you go to settings under general you've got use side switches to lock rotation and mute. Well whatever one you choose here the opposite would then be a control here. So you can see I've switched to lock rotation and now I've got the uh, mute button here in the controls. Now in addition to quitting applications in the multitasking bar you can do it directly from the application. The way you do that is you hold down the sleep button which is the top of your iPad and iPhone. Do that for a few seconds and you'll get the slide to power off screen. But instead of sliding to power off or canceling hold the home button down and you have to do that for about seven seconds. And At the end of that it will just quit the currently running app and return it to the screen. So now if I double tap you can see no to still there because it was a recently used app. Even though it's not running it's still listed in the recents list because it's a list of recents not a list of currently running apps. 
So there's a look at the iOS multitasking bar. Play around with it and get used to using it because it's a very useful tool that allows you to get more out of your iOS device. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.